this is my go bag. As you can see, I am able to lift it. But endurance decreases over time, which is why I am using this roller pack. This roller pack helps me carry my backpack more efficiently. Come, let's find out what's inside. This is my go bag, and I will show you what is inside it. I will start from the outside in. So first we have, this is a emergency blanket, kind of like a tarp. We have a pry bar. And then we have two lighters. Next, I will. Next is the left, um, the left side, the left pocket. So here we have we have plastic bags, Dyneema cord, which is a rope. We have Gatorade powder, and then next on the right side. So here we have gloves, disposable gloves. These are not sterile. We have plastic gloves. And then this can be used as a tourniquet or you can, this is used as a tourniquet. Stops bleeding. This is my sleeping bag and then okay so now I will I will do the top part so we have band-aids a flashlight a pocket knife this is very sharp And then another lighter because it's really easy to start so that it's easier to start fires. And then here we have alcohol, off lotion, chapstick, eucalyptus oil, and petroleum jelly. Now we are going, oh wait, first I will, I will also, okay, so this is a, this is a saw that is, uh, carabine, uh, that is quick link, quick link to the outside of the bag. So we have a saw here, and then this is used to cover the, um, the blade, the sharp part, so... We also have a, a fixed blade knife, which is quick link to the back. See? It's a knife. And this is fixed blade, not holding, and I'll put it back. Okay, now we will go into the bag. Now up top for quick access, we have a plastic drop cloth that painters use for painting, but can also be used to make a tent or shelter. Next I have all of my clothes in this bag, this trash bag, so that it won't get wet. Then there's the first aid kit. So I have opened up the first aid kit and this is what is inside it. So we have bandages, we have water purification tablets, we have calcium tums, strep sills, medical tape, neosporin, eye drops. Uh, this is a 
decongestant, uh, paracetamol, biogestic, and here we have a uh, scalpel blade, a surgical blade, and with a holder. We have Imodium, we have Pepto-Bismol, we have scissors, we have sewing needles, uh, thimble, we have a small knife, we have alcohol, this is actual alcohol, this is ibuprofen, this is Celox, it stops bleeding, they use this in the military, this is for very very serious cuts, we have a mirror, we have another small blade, and we have a book for wilderness and travel, and we have another. We have a first aid kit, a uh, book. So it has pretty much everything here. It's an old book. It's from America. So yeah. So this is what it is inside my first aid kit. We then have a bivy sack. We have needles in this uh, plastic tube, and then we have thread. We also have a whistle, three more lighters and scissors, and then here we have some money and ID and copies of pass copies of passports. And also a list of phone numbers. And then here we have a box cutter, another lighter, a pencil, a notepad, and then this is a fire starter. We have electrical tape, a wire saw, nylon polyester gloves, or working gloves. We have a bowl. We have a pot. And then we have a alcohol stove. And then this also holds some extra alcohol. So it goes like this. We have four more lighters and then a metal cup and then the uh, underwear is to stop the rattling. The underwear is to stop the rattling. Next we have Set the resin. Tweezers. And then in here is a uh, antacid, uh, Tums. Tums antacid. We have some more rope. More Gatorade. We have a Half a bar of soap, some toothpaste, and a toothbrush. Inside here is denatured alcohol. Now this is what we use for the alcohol stove because it burns cleaner. But we just have it stored in here. It's a denatured alcohol. We have baby wipes. And in here we have utensils. We have your fork and spoon. We have face masks. We got sugar, nor broth cubes, and coffee mate. So these are uh, MREs, meal ready to eat. Uh, these are used in the military and they have a very, very long shelf life. And you also don't need to cook them. 
if you want them hot, you can uh, heat them. You can put them in a uh, hot water so that they get hot because they are in a um, they're uh, in plastic. Oh, it's like a heavy duty plastic. I'll show you. So this is chicken gumbo. We'll open that real quick. So that that's it. So you put this in a uh, pot with uh, hot water and then it will heat up if you want your food hot. And if you're in a rush, just open it up with some scissors and you can eat. We have some more rope and we have a Lipton tea. This is a survival blanket which the mirror side, if it's on the inside, it will reflect your heat back at you. This is for the cold. And then if you put the mirror side on the outside, it will reflect it will reflect the heat and provide you with some shade. This is two liters of water. Sunglasses. A water filtration system. You put the water in here and then you squeeze it out through this filter and you will get some purified water. Some trash bags. Another metal can. A plastic cup with a pot holder. I oh, know, a uh, mitten. headlamp a fire starter another one and a small knife this is called the Min mini pendleton And I would be carrying my sling bag as well, which would be carrying my phone and my chargers and the stuff that I carry on a day-to-day uh, -day basis. And here I have my survival stuff. So my survival bag and then my sling bag, which I would be carrying in case of an emergency, would have the things that I bring on an everyday basis. So that would include my wallet, all that, uh, ID. And I also have copies of ID in here. So that is my go bag. Thank you for watching. Yeah.